What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Would You Rather. You guys know the game, where me and a very special guest play a game of multiple choice, and today, guys, we got a very, very special game of Would You Rather. It's a game a lot of you guys really been wanting me to play for a long time. Guys, I'm bringing him in. I'm bringing in the one person, or per, or dragon, who you guys been wanting me to meet for a long time. He comes all the way from the MLP world. He's Twilight Sparkle's assistant. And let's just say he is about as generous as the pony he's been simping for for years. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Spike. That's right, guys. I'm here with Spike. So, go ahead, Spike. Say hi to everybody. Um, hello, everyone. It's nice to finally be here. Um, so you're this flame that everybody's been talking about. Yep, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I am Flame the Dragon Hog. Hmm, and not once. Twilight never mentioned you. Oh, well, well, I guess you're meeting me in person now. Well... And pony, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anywho. Anywho. Go ahead, Spike. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Hmm. Well, I am... Well, I am Twilight Sparkle's number one assistant. I've been with her ever since I hatched out of my egg. And, of course, I am a dragon, as you can see. And I'm also a messenger for the royal princesses. Oh. Well, you know... I like that little trick that you do. You know, when you write a scroll and you breathe fire on it and the message gets sent in a puff of smoke. That's actually really interesting. I want to learn how to do that. Hmm. I'm surprised. All dragons should know how to do that. Well, my father, he's not really a dragon from your realm. It's <laughs> quite complicated. Anywho. Anywho. Uh, so, Spike, tell me something. Why is it that ever since you met Rarity, you've been, you've been, I don't know, simping over her for I don't know how long? Um, first off, what's a simp? Uh, basically, a simp is somebody who, you know, goes ballistic over a uh, girl that they like. Like, they, they just go cuckoo crazy over a girl that they like. Oh, well, I guess you can say she is quite beautiful. She is quite beautiful. She's really nice and sweet and kind. And she is quite generous. Yeah, she is. After all, she is the element of generosity. <laughs> but you do realize that me and her, we're together now. Yes, I am aware of that. That's why I'm actually dating Sweetie Belle. Wait, you're dating Rarity's sister? Well, she is the closest thing to Rarity. <laughs> oh, well... Okay, I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. I mean, how does Rarity feel about this? Oh, she's perfectly fine with it. She's perfectly fine. Oh, well, just as long as you're treating Sweet Sweetie Belle right, right? Right. <laughs> well, that's good. Anywho, anywho, Spike, you, we are about to play a little game called Would You Rather. It's, it's a multiple choice game where you have to pick between two options and whichever option that you pick that has the most percentage of people that agrees with that option, you get a point. But it all depends on the last question, which means all the other questions don't matter. It's the final question that determines the winner of the whole game. Hmm, that sounds simple enough. I guess we can get started. Yeah. Also, by the way, um, I forgot to ask you. How does Rarity and Twi- how was Rarity and Twilight taking it that, you know, um, they weren't gonna continue with the costume contest for out here? Mm, they're okay. They're fine. Rarity, on the other hand, she's... not good. Oh, what happened? Well, on the day of the elimination, she ran home, locked herself in her house, and... She started picking out on ice cream again. Yikes. I thought that only happened on Thursdays. Yeah, well, people started, you know, she started to think that, um, she started to think that, um, everybody didn't like her costume, and she put a lot of time and effort into it. Yeah, I know. 
It's okay, though. I still loved her vampire costume. I just hope that she's going to be there for the party. I'm sure she will. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, I almost forgot. Spike, did you want to see what I normally look like? Well, sure. Okay, here we go. This is what I normally look like when I'm in my world. Hmm, interesting. Looks quite nice. So, you really are a dragon hog. Yep, I'm half hedgehog, half dragon. I'm really interesting. Anyway, so, enough talk. Let's head on over to Would You Rather and get this thing started. Ready, Spike? Ready. Okay. All right, guys. Now, if you guys want to see more uh, Would You Rather videos, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below which Sonic or MLP character do you guys want me to bring on next. And also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to bring Spike back onto the channel because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would want me and him to get along pretty well because, after all, <laughs> dragons of a scale stick together. Well, dragons of a feather stick together, even though dragons don't have feathers, they have scales. You know what I mean, right, Spike? Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, well, anyway, let's head on over to Would You Rather and get this thing started. Okay, let's head on over to Would You Rather and get this thing going. If only I could find it. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, I got mixed up. I was trying to find Would You Rather. Anyway, as the question's loading... So, Spike, here's how it goes. I'm gonna be asking you a question first. And then I'll a then you got then you ask me a question, okay? Okay, that sounds simple. And already we're starting off with a disgusting question, so we're just gonna skip that. Okay, here we go. Spike, ready for this? Ready. Okay, so would you rather bring one person back from the dead or get one million dollars? Hmm. Well, Having one million dollars would be kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie, it would be nice. But, um, what am I gonna do with all that money? Well, there could be lots of things you can do. You could, um, buy a house or take Sweetie Belle out to dinner or something, because, you know, that would be kind of nice. <laughs> and by the way, last time I talked to Sweetie Belle, she never mentioned you in the first place. She never mentioned you. Oh, well, that's because we just started dating. Oh, well, that explains it. Okay, well, um, I guess I would rather bring one person back to life. I would rather bring one person back to life. And what person would that be? Uh, there's a whole number of people I would want to bring back to life. Uh, but I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. And, um, so what are you gonna do, Spike? I think I would bring someone back to life, and that one person I would bring back to life would be my mom. Oh, your mother. What happened to her? I really don't know. All I know is, is that I was abandoned by her. But it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. At least you're in good hooves. At least you're in good hooves. You got Twilight and all of her friends taking good care of you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, let's see what we got. And it looks like 53% agree with us. Okay, so 53% would rather bring someone back to life. Well, that's cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, bringing someone back to life is dangerous yet very, very hard. It's very, very dangerous and hard. Tell me, has any of the Alicorn princesses started using that type of spell? Not that I know of. I know Twilight told me it's a very, very dangerous spell. Yeah, it is. Trust me. Bringing people back bringing people back to life is definitely dangerous because you'll never know what the results will be like. Whether they be coming back to life in full force or whether they'll come back as a zombie. Ugh. Be like Thriller up in here. Anyway, let's see the next question. Okay. Okay, so, Spike... The day that you marry Sweetie Belle one day, would you rather be smart and marry a dumb person or be dumb and marry a smart person? Now that is a good question. So would you want to be the dummy in the relationship or would you want your spouse to be the dummy in the relationship? Hmm. Well, if I had to pick, um, not to call Sweetie Belle dumb, but I am pretty smart. But... There are just some things I don't understand. 
So I guess I'll be the dummy. <laughs> and, you know, she'll be the smart one. Well, she is pretty smart. I mean, I guess that's why she's known as the beauty of the Cutie Mark Crusaders. She pretty much takes after her sister, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, anywho. So, um, as for me, I think I would be the dumb one in the relationship. Because, honestly, um, there comes a time where I don't know stuff. And I hate to say it, but, um, my wife is pretty much smarter than me in many ways. She's pretty much smarter than me. Hmm, well, I guess. Don't say that. I mean, everybody's smart in their own way. Yeah, that is true. But, it's okay. Anyway, let's see what we got. Oh, okay, so it looks like 53% would rather be the smart one and marry someone dumb. <laughs> I mean, come on, really? I mean, why would you guys want to marry someone dumb? So that way you guys can feel like the smart one in the relationship? Really? I mean, come on, guys. Really? Ugh. Okay, Spike, I know I skipped over your turn, but anyway, here you go. You can read this one. Okay, let's see. Uh, would you rather be self... will be self... obese... I don't know what the heck that is. Or be self-disappointed. Oh, man. No, uh, if it's too hard for you, we can actually skip it if you want. Okay, I guess. Okay, here you go, Spike. Alright, let's see. Uh, would you rather never be able to eat out again, or never be able to order food again? Yikes, now that's definitely a hard one. Okay, so, but wait a minute, hold up, hold up, guys, hold up. Isn't ordering food and eating out kind of the same thing? Because, you know, you're still, because, you know, you're still ordering out and you're ordering food. That still counts as the same thing. But anyway, if I had to pick, I would have to say, uh, never eat out ever again. Never eat out again. Because, guys, think about it like this. Some restaurants, they are known for having good food and stuff, but... Who knows what the heck is inside their food? I mean, who knows what the heck they do in their food? I mean, I know that, you know, some of the food and stuff is cooked in front of you, like those, uh, Japanese, like those Japanese restaurants that, um, have, um, that have, like, the stove in front of you and they cook right in front of you. But here's the thing, guys. Some restaurants have the kitchen completely blocked off, and God knows what the heck happens back there. For all we know, somebody could have spit in your food, or they leave a piece of hair in there or something. I know they wash their hands and stuff, but hey, what's going to prevent them from, you know, doing something to somebody's food? Because in reality, guys, they don't care about us. All they care about is just getting paid. That's all they care about is just getting paid. Ugh. Anyway. Whoa. Is it in here? Okay, anyway. Um... So what about you, Spike? Well, if I had to pick, I would definitely have to say never order out again. Because last time Twilight ordered something, it was just bad. It was really bad. Okay, what happened? Well, as we all know, I eat gems. Yeah, I heard. So you eat, so you eat gems and jewels and stuff, right? Yes, I find them very delicious. Well, let's just say I asked for a ruby sandwich, and, uh, the rubies weren't done completely. Oh. Sorry to hear that, Spike. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. We never ate there again. <laughs> well, that's good. Anywho, so, I'm picking the blue option while you're picking the red option. Alright, let's see. And it looks like 59% agree with you, Spike. Huh, I guess people don't want to order food out again. I guess people don't want to, uh, order food again. Because, you know, sometimes they, uh, don't. Because, you know, sometimes people who, uh, take their orders always mess up the orders. It's, uh, pretty bad. Yikes. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, man, now this is definitely interesting. Would you rather be in a zombie apocalypse or be in a robot apocalypse? Okay, like, just gonna flat out say this, guys. I've been in a robot apocalypse. I really have been in a robot apocalypse. It was just really bad. Really, really bad. I mean, hello, think about it. Sonic Forces. 
And even though they weren't robots, they were holograms, it was still bad. It was still really bad. And plus, robots were there, so it does kind of count as robot apocalypse, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I think I would rather be in a uh, robot apocalypse. Because if you think about it, because if you think about it, what the heck? It, because if you think about it, zombies, when they catch you, they can easily turn you into one. But what the heck is a robot going to do? It's not going to turn you into a robot. It's just going to uh, vapor, uh, vaporize you or something. Yikes. But uh, I guess I would rather be turned into a zombie than vaporized like that. So I guess I would rather be in a zombie apocalypse. And besides, if you think about it, a zombie apocalypse is a whole lot more better than a robot apocalypse, if you ask me. Well, that is true. If I had to pick, I would definitely be in a zombie apocalypse. I'd never been in a zombie apocalypse because, you know, there was never zombies in Equestria. Um, what about that one time when almost all of Equestria got turned into zombies when they all had that weird rainbow muzzle on their faces? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, almost every pony turned into, like, a weird zombie. I wonder what the heck happened. I don't know what the heck happened. Ugh. For all we know, it was probably a spell gone wrong again. You know, lots of spells always be going wrong over there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why, that's why we over here on Mobius stick to chaos energy. It's sort of like magic, but not really. <laughs> anyway, so we're both picking zombie apocalypse? Yes. All right, let's see. 53% agree with us. They're smart. Because honestly, who would want to be caught in a robot apocalypse? What is this? The Terminator? I mean, what is this? The Terminator? I mean, think about it, guys. Think about it. Do you guys really want to be, you know, in a robot apocalypse with uh, the Terminator or something like that? I don't know. Ugh. Anyway, moving on. Okay, Spike, would you want to read the honors? Okay. Would you rather drink wine or drink beer? What are these things? I never heard of them. Well, beer is basically uh, a type of drink. It's a type of drink that adults drink whenever... Um, well, let's just say beer is a type of drink. It's made from, uh, well, I don't know what the heck beer is made out of. All I know is, is that it sometimes calms people down when they're stressed and all that stuff. That's why people always say they need a drink or something when they always mean like a beer or something or wine. Basically a wine and wine, the wine is basically uh, made from grapes. Wine is basically made from grapes and all that stuff. So, um... But there are different varieties of wine. Like there's like, like there's um, but they are still made out of grapes and all that stuff. So yeah, it's definitely something. So yeah, but it has a little bit of kick of alcohol to it. That's pretty much what it, what they are. They're both alcoholic beverages. So we definitely do need to be careful if we ever drink beer or wine. Well, here's the thing. Beer basically has more alcohol in it than wine anyway. Hmm, well. I really don't want to try any of them. Okay, well, I guess you will have to pick one. You will have to pick one, Spike. All right, fine. I'll pick one. Um, I guess I'll pick wine because you said it still has because you said it has fruit in it, I guess. Yeah, there are still Yeah, but believe it or not, there are some wines out there that really don't have that much alcohol in it. I mean, they do have like a teeny tiny bit of it, but not as much to where you're all dizzy in the head and all that stuff that's called that's called being drunk yeah i heard about that okay well anyway so we're both picking wine right yep all right let's see 57 percent agree with us because honestly i don't think anybody would want to dr be drinking beer like that just binge just 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 you know just binge drinking beer i mean the next thing you know beer will make you all fat and stuff you ever heard of a beer belly um spike no it's basically what happens when you drink a lot of beer and have a lot of food in your stomach and to the point where you can't even see your own feet. To the point where you can't even see your own feet. That's called beer belly. That's called, that's called beer belly. It's really bad. Really, really bad. It may work for some people, but some other people, they really don't like it. In fact, some people are really trying to get rid of their beer bellies. Ugh, it's kind of crazy. But anyway, uh, let's move on. 
Okay. Anyway, would you rather know every language or know how to talk to animals? Okay, so basically they're asking, would I want to learn different languages or be like Fluttershy, talk to animals? Because <laughs> if you think about it, Fluttershy is the only pony that we know that really knows how to talk to animals, right? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, um, I guess I would like to talk to animals because there are some animals I really do want to learn their language. Like who? Well, there's these creatures in my world. They're called Chow. They're somewhat like animals. They're somewhat like animals. And um, they speak in a weird Chow language. They speak in Chow language, and only my friend Cream can understand them. Only my friend Cream can understand the Chow. So um, it's definitely really interesting. <laughs> and I would really want to know what the heck they're saying. Um, only, only Cream, my friend, knows how to understand a chow. So, I think I would pick the red option. Hmm. I guess I would learn different languages. Because, honestly, learning different languages will be kind of nice. Yeah, learning different languages will be kind of nice, too. <laughs> so, yeah, I would rather, um, pick the red option. I'm picking the blue. Alright, let's see. 56% agree with me. Because honestly, everybody would want to everybody would want to know how to talk to an animal. Because honestly, think about it. Everybody really wants to know what the heck is on an animal's mind. Because most of the time, they're just, you know, just bark, bark, wolf, wolf, meow, meow, and uh, all that other stuff. And we have no idea what the heck they're saying. So, it would be kind of nice to just best understand them by, you know, learning their language. Or... You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, anyway, let's see what we got next. Okay, would you rather have a have your professional chef or, immedi or immediately become a gourmet, a gourmet chef yourself? Uh, now that's definitely interesting. Oh, wait, no, I read that wrong. It said instantly, sorry. Instantly become a gourmet chef instantly become a gourmet chef yourself. Um, well, I am already kind of a good cook. I kind of already am a good cook and stuff, so, um, I think I would want to, uh, have a professional chef. Because, well, I already do kind of have a professional chef and all that stuff, make me my food and stuff, but every now and then I do tell them to, uh, you know, back off because I would want to cook the dinner myself. Because, honestly, I just want them to, uh, you know, have a nice break and all that stuff. I mean, come on. Wouldn't you want them to have a nice break, Spike? Well, yeah, I guess. Okay, well, anyway. Okay, well, anyway, so I'm picking, uh, have a professional chef. Okay, as for me, I think I would have to say, um, I guess become a uh, gourmet chef. Because it would be kind of nice to make something for Twilight. Every now and then. Yeah, I'm sure Twilight would definitely appreciate that. I'm pretty sure she will. Anyway, so having a professional chef is mine, while having a well becoming a gourmet chef is yours. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so 52% agree with you. Okay, so 52% agree with you, Spike. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess people would rather cook than have someone cook for them. Well, I guess that's okay. Okay, well, anyway, let's continue. Ah, oh, man, not this question again. Hold up. Buy a BMW, I don't know. Oh, man, okay, now here's a good question. Listen to this one, Spike. Would you rather own an iPhone or own a YouTube channel with 100 million subscribers? Ah, oh, man, now that is definitely my goal right there. 100 million? I mean, come on. I mean, 100 million? That's definitely my goal right there. Hmm. Well, how many subscribers do you have right now? I kind of lost count after when I hit 1,000. I mean, 1K. <laughs> I kind of lost track when I hit 1K. All right? I kind of lost track. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm picking the red. I mean, having an I, I mean, iPhones are okay for some people, but no. I mean... I've, I mean, think about it. iPhones, they are good for some people, but 
nope, I'm sticking with Android. Thank you very much. I'm sticking with an Android. I mean, sure, most people may hate me because, you know, um, I'm going with, I'm on team Android and not team, uh, iPhone and all that stuff, but no, I'm going, I'm still sticking with an Android, so, yeah, good for you guys, I mean, hello, but anyway, no offense to anybody who uses iPhones and stuff, I mean, I'm pretty much one who uses a, uh, I, a, uh, I, an Apple product, I mean, I have an iPad and everything, but, I still would rather use my i. I still, I still, I would rather have an iPad than an iPhone. I mean, trust me, I would rather have that. Anywho, um, yeah, I think I'm definitely picking the uh, red option. As for me, I think I would pick the same thing. Okay, so Spike and I were both picking the red option. Let's see what we got. Sixty-seven percent agree with both of us. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, honestly, think about it. All the, all the 33 people right there, they're probably on Team Apple. Probably. They're all, they are on Team Apple. Because, honestly, they probably think that iPhones are the greatest thing ever next to Androids. But, everybody, but guys, tell that to the people whose phones be malfunctioning or be, you know, blowing up. And how many, and what type of phones always be doing that? iPhones. I mean, think about it. <sighs> anyway... Let's keep going. Ooh, Spike. Now, this is definitely an interesting one. Would you rather eat candy or eat people? Uh, candy. Yeah, candy. I mean, I'm a dragon, but I don't eat people. Me either. I mean, I like people. They're kind of cool. I mean, humans, they're fine, I guess. They're okay, but uh, let's just say me and my brother, we kind of had a run-in with a human, and uh, things were not right ever since. Why? What happened? Okay, long story short, we died, had to use magical gems called the Chaos Emeralds to bring us back with addition of a kiss by that human. Ew! Yeah, and we were dead at that time. Ugh. So yeah, candy. 68% agree with us. Smart, smart, smart. Because honestly, that's called cannibalism right there. I mean, think about it. People eating other people, that's disgusting. Ew. It's just really, really disgusting. Not only that, but if a pony starts eating another pony, that's, again, cannibalism. That's just disgusting and gross. Honestly. I mean, Spike, if you were in that type of situation, would you want to eat one of your friends? No, I would not. Exactly. I mean, honestly. Sorry, guys, I'm yawning. Anyway, honestly, who would want to eat a person? Think about it. Who would want to eat a person? That's just disgusting. Ew. All right, well, anyway, let's continue. Oh, man. Uh, Spike, this is definitely going to be interesting. Okay, so, would you rather watch a romantic movie or watch a horror movie? Ooh, now that's definitely interesting. If you ask me, I would rather watch a horror movie. I mean, no offense to anybody who likes that uh, romance, kissy kissy, all that other stuff. No, that's not for me. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. But I would rather get a nice scare out of it. I would rather get a nice scare than, you know, having to watch, you know, that. It's just weird. Isn't that right, Spike? Mm-hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. For years, I've been trying to go after Rarity for I don't know how long, but uh, it's just not going to happen between us. I mean, Sweetie Belle, she is nice, but she is no Rarity. Uh, I mean, she is your girlfriend, right? Yeah, that is true, and you know that old saying, you can't go back. Yeah, you can't go back now. I mean, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Rarity, she is nice and stuff. She is nice. And you did do a lot of nice things for her. Like you taste tested the gems before she picked them. You go with her and go shopping. You gave her your fire ruby that you were going to eat for your birthday. You rescued her a whole mess of times. And not only that, but you actually been by her side a whole lot of times. Ever since you became the Ponyville. That's because I love her. Well, used to. Yeah. Anyway, horror movie? Horror movie. Alright, let's see. 
What? 51% would rather watch a romantic movie? All right, all right. You know about, okay, I'm just gonna flat out say this. About a few of those people were probably forced. A few of those people were probably forced. Mainly by, mainly, main, and those people that were forced were probably men. Mainly. Because honestly, what man would just sit back and watch a romantic movie? I mean, think about it. They either had to be gay or something. I don't know. Because trust and believe me, that's just weird on so many levels. Anyway, Spike, we got time for one last question. We got one last question and then we're done for the day. Okay. All right. So, would you rather touch a gorilla or touch Pennywise? Um, who's Pennywise? Pennywise is a really, really scary clown. You do not want to mess with him. He's a really, really scary clown. Yeah, he's a really, really scary clown that who shapeshifts and he uh, kills children and manipulates them and all sorts of other stuff. It's just really, really bad. So, uh, yeah, I would rather touch a gorilla than touch a mad clown. Yeah, same here. All right, let's see what we got. Mm, excuse me. So, 59% agree with us. They agree with both of us. Well, it looks like we're going to have to have a tiebreaker. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. So, this is going to be interesting. Would you rather have a twin to share a birthday with or have a sibling with whom you share a birthday but is older than than is older or younger. Oh, I see. So basically they're asking, uh, would I rather have a twin that shares the same birthday with you or would I rather have a sibling that shares the same birthday with us but is older or younger? Huh, now that's definitely interesting. Well, me and my sister, well, me and my sister, we're not twins, but we were born at the same time. I mean, we were kind of born at the same time, so uh, I guess I would rather have a twin because honestly, my sister and I, we are kind of alike in a way, even though she's a hedgehog, I'm a dragon and hedgehog hybrid and all that stuff. It's kind of crazy. So uh, what about you, Spike? Mm, I guess I would rather pick the red option. Okay, so red option. I mean, don't get me wrong. Having a sibling that shares the same birthday with you and is probably older or younger than you, that's definitely going to be interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, yeah, that is going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. Anyway, so you're picking the red and I'm picking the blue. All right, so, guys, the winner of this game of Would You Rather is... Drumroll, please. Oh, it's a 50-50. Hello. Um, what does the 50-50 mean? That means we got to do another tiebreaker. Gosh darn it. Ugh. Okay, Spike. Here we go. Let's get another tiebreaker going. Okay, so would you rather have the power to turn into any animal or have the power to turn into any object? Huh. Well, me, I can already shapeshift into all sorts of things. I can already shapeshift into all sorts of things. People, animals, objects, and all sorts of things. But I got to see them in order to shapeshift into them. I mean, for example, Spike, I can shapeshift into you if I want to, but I'm not going to. Uh, let me guess, Spike, I'm guessing you would want to have the ability to change into different animals? Well, yeah. I mean, I already, I mean, I already turned into a giant dragon. I turned into a dog. And I also, not only... <laughs> I also kind of, sort of, you know, turned into a winged dragon. Yeah, I noticed that you got your wings now. <laughs> yeah, so basically you've gone through a lot of transformations. Yeah, not only that, but I also turned into like this big buff dragon, <laughs> a knight type of person. Yeah, I know what you mean. And I know what happened in that dream. You dreamt that you were rescuing Rarity, huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so you're picking the red. I mean, you're picking the blue, right? Mm-hmm. All right. And I think I would pick the red option because, honestly, changing the objects, that would be really cool. It would be like prop hunt 
from off a of Gmod. I mean, being able to transform into different things, that would be pretty cool. Anyway, let's see. And the winner of this game of Would You Rather is... Spike with 57%. Congratulations, Spike. You won your first ever game of Would You Rather. All right. <laughs> nice. Yep, and here's your prize. No way. What is that? Oh, it's a special gemstone that I had waiting for you. I mean, people said that they've been wanting us to get together for I don't know how long. And I thought to myself, how about I collect some gems for you? Awesome. Nice. Yep, here you go, Spike. Enjoy. Freshly picked from my from my world. Hmm. That way I can definitely see how much Mobian jewels taste as much as, you know, equestrian jewels. Yep, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Try one. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, flamethrowers. That's it for this game of Would You Rather with me and Spike. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me and Spike to do a, uh, another video together. Like just hang out and do all sorts of dragon things. And also let me know in the comments if you guys want me to play Would You Rather with Spike again, or any other MLP character. Yeah, and also, guys, believe it or not, I'm actually thinking about playing Would You Rather with the main six. Well, main five, because I already played Would You Rather with Twilight. <laughs> so that means um, Applejack, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Fluttershy. Get ready, because one day I might play Would You Rather with you guys. Unless, of course, I already played Would You Rather with one of you guys, honestly. Anyway, Spike, is there anything else you'd like to say before we head on out? <laughs> oh, uh, your mouth is full of jewels. Never mind. Uh, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way, you guys will be up to date whenever I post. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. And Spike the Dragon. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Anyway, and Spike the Dragon over here, signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.